About a year ago, I was diagnosed with stage two cancer and the chemo was so harsh, I could barely get up out of the bed. After that, I had them sect me and they found nine out of 15 lip nodes were affected with cancer. So now I'm stage three. Mentally, I don't think you'll ever be prepared for it. I never let my siblings know that uh, I was afraid. We went to a doctor's appointment. He said, okay, well, I'm very concerned because there isn't enough fluid around the baby, so I'm going to send you over to the hospital immediately. And we had to go into the C-section room to have the baby. The first thing I was doing was praying that he's okay, because when I walked over there, I could see him and he was breathing really heavy and that made me nervous. Chocó con otro trailer. Este, le, le, ta, le ta, cortó la tapa y la costilla rompió los, un pulmón, su pulmón. Tuvo por tres días sin saber nada. Tengo nueve hijos y él es el más chiquito y... My wife of 23 years got diagnosed with uh, triple negative breast cancer. She had a double mastectomy, and every time we pinpoint on a location, it seems to, to go and move and spread somewhere else. Come back in her lungs, six months of chemotherapy, uh, 38 rounds of radiation. We want to be here all the time for our baby, see everything that he does every step of the way, make sure we don't miss anything that he's going through. I am taking the radiation treatment. So I will be doing that daily for the next six more weeks. No tenía pa pagar un hotel. Nos íbamos a dormir en la troca. I live in Grove, Oklahoma. That's two hours away. My ministry is out of Stroud, which is another 48 miles, 48 to 58 miles from here. Oh man, the finances are going to be unbearable. I'm not going to be able to do that. We're just planning on driving from Cleveland, our home, to here every day. You're traveling away from home and in a medical crisis, the financial burden of lodging and the financial burden of eating out sometimes is too much for families to bear. I got a call from Kelsey and she said, Are you, do you have a place to stay tonight? I said, actually, I don't. So coming to Hospitality House to me was like, man, I was just blown away. We almost thought it was going to be like a shelter where everybody was in like a room. Everybody had like, I don't know, bunk beds. As soon as she walked us into the room and it was like our own little personal apartment. Wow, we were honestly like, OK, this is way better than anything that we could have even imagined, honestly. We have 13 family suites that our families stay in. And in those suites, we have enough for four family members to be able to sleep comfortably. They have warming kitchens so they can bring in food. I, I just couldn't believe it and I was, we were so overwhelmed and blessed that there was somewhere like this. As I went up into our room, I was like, wow, it, it's, it's a home. It's a home away from home. Pero como, como tenemos un techo, como, quien, quien nos dio pa quedarnos? <laughs> Me puse a llorar porque Dios nos estaba viendo, aunque nos dio dolor de mi hijo. We also provide evening meals for the guests. So we have volunteers throughout our community that provide a home-cooked meal just for them. The meals have been some of the best foods that we've ever had. Like, <laughs> If we need something washed, they're like, just bring it to the office. And I'm like, you guys are doing too much. And they're like, that's what our job is. We're here to do that to help you take a burden off of you. Anything we've ever needed, it was, it was, it was here. They value every family that comes here. Son muy detallistas. Son muy detallistas. Todo, todo está perfecto. Just concerned about our situation too. Like, tell us about Dexton. Tell us how he's doing. And it's just like, wow, it's kind of like family here. Thirty percent of our guests tell us that staying at Hospitality House help them avoid a foreclosure or an eviction. I think for a donor when they give, they're not just giving for compassionate lodging, that is absolutely helpful, but they're also preventing something terrible from happening to a family after the hospitalization. Hospitality House has taken a 
big burden off of me. Financially, I don't think I would be able to do it. It has all been provided by Hospitality House. It's awesome to not have to worry about anything but being there for, for my wife, Melissa. You know, I, I have to have a time for myself to get away, to come back to her, to, to be strong for her. No, we can go right around the corner and go to bed and then get up in the morning and go right up around the corner and see our son again. It's really nice. We've seen him literally transform. It's been little victories all along the way. It was good to have, you know, like my mom and my dad with me. Every step was away. Que nunca esperaba, verdad, cómo nos recibieron. Y ahora que que pasamos esto, ah, fue mucho dolor, pero hubo muchas puertas abiertas. Principalmente esta gente de aquí, de esta casa. The providers and the donors are 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 what keeps this place going. Thank you for providing and donating your time, your money, and I just thank you all for, for having a place here for us to be. We can't thank these people enough for giving and helping. We're full every night with a waiting list that averages about 13 families every day. Turning away people that absolutely need you is um, it's a hard thing to do. We are moving towards an expansion project that hopefully within the next few years we can actually solve the waiting list problem. Te dar porque así como Dios dijo, um, yo te pedí de comer, yo te pedí agua, yo te pedí cobija. Yo decía, gracias Señor, por medio de todos estos ángeles que, que nos dieron la mano. Dios los bendiga y a los que sigue la más gente que viene, to be in the ministry, you have to be willing to be a willing vessel. And it shows in your actions, how you treat people. Being a minister myself, you recognize. But it's a different story when somebody is doing it for you. Aquí traemos un dolor muy grande, pero también nos vamos con una alegría muy grande. <laughs>